Okay, welcome aboard. We're on an F-35V, which is the one that has the uh, vertical landing and takeoff. We've got a cold dark start from Sydney International. Um, quick whip round Sydney and then out and try and land it on a carrier. Just to show you what it can do. Um, the reason I'm going to go over Sydney is I've just bought the texture pack for it, um, but it hasn't downloaded yet, so um, I thought it would be a good idea to fly over it beforehand and then afterwards to see the difference. So first thing we've got to do is turn on the battery and all the electrical systems. the HMD to auto, MFD to day, and first thing we need to do on here, I don't really like this to be honest, it's very futuristic, I like proper switches, but um, we're going to go on the fuel system and we're going to access, uh, da, 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 da. oh god how did I get to it, not in dump, the main fuel cock. Mm, how did I get to it before? should be open. But I can't for the life of me remember how I got to it. Never mind. If we find it's closed, we'll have to come back to it. So now all the screens are powered up. Got engine on one, flight control systems on that one. Two flare on that one. So we're going to come across to here, start the uh, IPP, which is the f 35s version of the APU, master ignition switched on, and you can see they're all coming to life, so we've got this canopy closed, very space agey, so I don't need to worry about the fuel. Sydney Ground Bravo Foxtrot 01 with golf request taxi for takeoff north departure. Bravo Foxtrot 01 taxi 2 and halt short of runway tree 4 left using taxiway Juliet Alpha 2 cross runway 16 right Alpha 1 cross runway tree 4 left Lima Alpha Alpha 6. Contact tower on 124 decimal 7 when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway tree 4 left via taxiway Juliet Alpha 2 cross runway 16 right Alpha 1 cross runway tree 4 left Lima Alpha Alpha 6 Foxtrot 01. And that's the last warning light gone out, generate a caution. Um, so we are all good to get going. Just have a quick landing lights to the taxi position. We're all clear left and right. All our other lights are on because we did that on the MFD. So we're going to taxi. Right, we're going to taxi down to there. That's going to be our takeoff. So we'll be a bit cheeky and we'll cut through this very empty looking car park. But before we do that, we'll just zoom her in a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so parking brakes over here. Parking brake off. A little bit of throttle.
Almost there. Be very interesting to see what the difference is between um, Sydney with and without the texture pack. Quite interested to see. Uh, I think we'll be taking off and Sydney Harbour should be over that way I think but we will find out shortly um, we're a little bit too heavy to do a completely vertical takeoff but we will do a short takeoff burn off some of that fuel before we get to the carrier so that we can do a nice vertical hover and land. Sydney Tower Bravo Foxtrot 01 at runway tree 4 left ready for departure departure to the north. Departure departure. Bravo Foxtrot 01 wind calm departure to the north approved. Cleared for takeoff runway tree 4 left. Cleared for takeoff runway tree 4 left Foxtrot 01. So we just come in here, we'll hit the vertical takeoff. Alright, see the auto takeoffs in red there. It's because we've got too much fuel on board. Positive climb gear up. Just have to maintain maintain this until we get a bit a little bit more speed. And then we can pack it into normal flight mode. There we go. A little bit twitchy as it first takes over. There we go. Sydney Tower Bravo Foxtrot 01 continue for north departure. And we'll straight away. Bring the engines back because we want to be going nice and steady as we head over Sydney. I mean, to be fair, that's already not too bad, even without the texture pack. Foxtrot 01, leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Yeah, not great down there. I'm assuming that's where the train station is. Sydney Tower Bravo Foxtrot 01, frequency change. Approach Bravo Foxtrot 01 is type 3 miles west of Romeo Sierra Echo 600 feet. Request flight following. Bravo That's not bad Foxtrot at all. Squawk I, wonder if, I wonder if that has downloaded whilst we were getting ready. And... Squawk 2712 Foxtrot 01. Because that Foxtrot seems really good. Foxtrot 01 radar contact. 4 miles northwest of Romeo Sierra Echo 700 feet. Altimeter 29 decimal 902. Roger Foxtrot 01. Approach Bravo Foxtrot 01. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Bravo Foxtrot 01 approach. Clear through the Charlie airspace. Clear yeah, through I mean, Charlie airspace Foxtrot 01. Pretty good. There's little bits there that aren't the best, but the buildings and everything look great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See if we can scare some office workers, shall we? Oh gosh, forgot the camera view was that way. <laughs> that could have been disaster. Better reset that. Yeah, 
Yeah, if that's without the texture pack, I'm really impressed with that. And if it is, I'm still unpleased with that. That looks really good. Decimal 8 Foxtrot 01. Melbourne Center Bravo Foxtrot 0110,900 feet. Bravo Foxtrot 01, Melbourne Center Altimeter 29er, Decimal 9 or 2 radar contact to continue. Melbourne Center Bravo Foxtrot 01. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Bravo Foxtrot 01, Melbourne Center. Clear to the Charlie airspace. Cleared through Charlie Airspace Foxtrot 01. Foxtrot 01, contact, approach on 135 decimal, niner. Good day. Good day. Okay, let's um, whip it niner, out. Foxtrot Our course is going to take us Goodbye. through the hills, and then the carrier should be Approach Bravo just Foxtrot 018,900 feet. Bravo Foxtrot 01, approach altimeter, 2 niner decimal, niner, 2 radar contact, continue. Very, very easy to fly this it's fly by wire, so not like uh, the older the older aircraft. Piece of piss. Right point. Foxtrot 01 contact Melbourne Center on 129er decimal 8. Good day. Going to 129er decimal 8 Foxtrot 01. Melbourne Center Bravo Foxtrot 01 5100 feet. Bravo Foxtrot 01 Melbourne Center altimeter 29er decimal 9 or 2 radar contact to continue. Let's see what it's like on a loop, shall we? Going to one tree five decimal niner Foxtrot zero one. Approach Bravo Foxtrot zero one five thousand four hundred feet. Bravo Foxtrot zero one approach altimeter two niner decimal niner two radar contact continue. Foxtrot zero when you're leaving my airspace. Melbourne Center on 129er decimal 8. Good day. 129er decimal 8 
Foxtrot 01. Goodbye. <laughs> Melbourne Center Bravo Foxtrot 01 4,900 feet. What's... Bravo Foxtrot 01, Melbourne Center Altimeter 2 Niner, Decimal Niner 2 Radar Contact Continue. Problems with that whatsoever. Foxtrot 01, Contact, Approach on 135 Decimal Niner. Good day. Melbourne Center Bravo Foxtrot 01. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Bravo Foxtrot 01, Melbourne Center. Clear through the Charlie airspace. Clear through Charlie airspace, Foxtrot 01. Okay, we'll start to bring our altitude down now. This, this much, so and it's been a while since I've done it. So we'll see how successful this is. Probably a little bit stupid doing it on a carrier rather than on the ground. Sorry, into the sonic boom. Get it down to about 10 miles and then we'll chuck the boards out, slow us down. Billiard table smooth. It's because we've got no weather turned on. Okay, you can see the carrier now. Well, he's rolled off. Out come the air brakes. and we'll let the air brakes off again. There we go. Be quite quick with this, we haven't got too much fuel to play with. Ourselves lined up.
one mile out, 700 feet. Bingo, bingo. Bingo fuel. Hover mode. Foxtrot Charlie Zero Tree Traffic Bravo Foxtrot Zero One One Miles Northwest One Hundred Feet Inbound to Land Runway North. Doesn't get much smoother than that. Right, let's just get this out of the way. Got nose wheel steering. Let's have a look at the side like Shortcut key doesn't seem to be doing much for the nose wheel. Um, uh, that might be something I've got to look up later. Um, yeah, we'll just shut it down here. Um, so to shut it down, we first of all we need to flick across to the engine and this little switch over here. Main ignition off. As soon as that's done, we can get the canopy open. Engine. 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 Disarm our ejection seat. And then it's just a case of turning the electrical power off. Ooh, spin around a little bit there. Just have a little look on the outside, because it's a very good looking aircraft. Hear the waves lapping up there. Um, and then we switch off these three and the battery and that will end the flight. So that's the F-35 over Sydney. Or well, it should end the flight. Mm. I wonder why is that? I wonder why that stayed on then. It would normally end the flight as soon as you kill the power. For some reason, it's stayed on. Yeah. Wonder if that was glitching out a bit, and that's why the nose oil wasn't turning. But anyway, that's. You see, the pilot's gone now because it is all shut down. There you have it, the F-35B.